Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Let's see, it's gone from crazy and crafty. Welcome, welcome. Not sure if we're live or not. I think we are. You are. Thank you. I'm trying to refresh and find you guys. There we go. We're coming in. Say hello. Let's turn this up a little bit more. Can help if this is turning on. There we go. You see it good? Yep, looks great. All right. Our happy Halloween graveyard wreath tonight. Thought since I was going to make it, I would bring you guys along to make it with me. So we'll just give a couple minutes for people to come in. So you can only pin one thing. I know you can pin two. Okay. You can pin a couple things. I'll in. send you the web page. Okay. And I'll send you the kit. Sounds good. Not sure how much space I have to put that. When you zoom out, you'll have more. If you're zoomed in, you'll get a bit more. Yeah, I'll be zoomed in pretty much to make it. If I have to so zoom out give, a little bit to get more of your math. Give a couple minutes. How's that? There you go. It's good. We can move it too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll give a couple minutes for everybody to start coming in. Come on in. Say hi. I'm going to actually zoom it out so everybody can see me. Is it okay to send you the things? The pen right now. How's everybody doing tonight? We'll just give it a couple minutes for everybody to arrive. Come on in. Say hi. What's that? Be backwards. It's just better that way. You can see what we're making. Very cute. Happy Halloween Graveyard kit. I have this available at crazycrafty.com right now. So we'll just give it a couple minutes for people to start coming in. And we can start making this wreath tonight. We're gonna make a pancake style. Here's our ribbons we have for our tails. And this is gonna be our bow. And then we have this really pretty silver mesh and it's going to go great with the silver that's in our the sign here around the trees the tombstones everything it's got the happy halloween all glittery and this has the silver in it as well so i thought that would be cute thank you i'm gonna pin that thank you thank you Let's give it a couple more minutes and then we'll get it rolling here. Zoom it in so you can see the sign better. So it is Friday night, and I thought we would make a pancake style deco mesh wreath tonight. Come on in, say hi, let me know where you're watching from. We are in Commerce Township. 
Yeah, crazy and crafty tonight. And I thought I would share with you since I'm making it anyway. This is a kit that's available in our shop right now at crazyandcrafty.com. So I thought I'd go ahead and make this tonight and I figured since I'm already making it, why not make it with you? So if you wouldn't mind, say hi, let me know you can see me and let me know where you're watching from. We always like to see the different areas where everybody's from. Gary's here too, man in the, the comments and stuff tonight. Hi everyone. Go ahead and move this over. Let's go ahead and get started. Actually, I think I'll finish this part off here. So what I did here is, let me zoom in a little bit more for you. I already started on here, so I have these, our cable tie mounts. And what you do is you just peel off the sticker backing. And then take a little bit of super glue, put it in the center, and then stick it down. And then give yourself a little bit of edge so that we can go through here. Use one of the guns from class. Mine's not heated up here. And then you just give it a little bead of hot glue all the way around it. You're giving it a, just a little extra security to stay on. We don't want it if you're giving it as a gift. Everybody has different climates. We don't want their signs to fall off their wreaths, right? I don't want it off my own door either. So just give a little added security there. So I'm going to set that aside and let that dry. And then we can get going on our wreath here. So if you're watching, come say hi. Here's our fun ribbons we have tonight. We have this tombstone one. And then we have this one with bats on it. And it says eek. And then for our bow, I thought that'd be fun because there's polka dots on this one here. So I thought we'd do polka dots and then we have a solid black. And then we have a black and white polka dot to pick up the white in our black and white tombstone. So I'll set those aside. And I already had, went ahead and cut my tails. They are 12 inches long. And then I dovetailed them. Bring it out a little bit. I dovetailed them, which means you fold it over. And then on the folded side, you cut towards the metal. So I had to cut them up on an angle. But to save time, I went ahead and, and did those. So I'm gonna do pancake style tonight, and I'm gonna show you how to attach your wreath forms here. We're gonna do our pipe cleaners. Lisa says hi. Hi, Lisa. How are you? It's been a while. So on the first two inner rings here, there are brackets around, and that's where we'll stick our pipe cleaners, and it's fold it over, pull it really tight, and then you twist it twice. And it should move when you wiggle it here, and that make it nice and tight. And then you do the same thing, you repeat around the outside too, and you're gonna go right in the middle of the two that have the brackets, you're gonna go right in the center. And I went ahead and, so you guys wouldn't have to watch me do that. Pull it over, cross it twice tight, and then again, move it so it won't, doesn't budge. So I went ahead and did them all ahead of time so that you guys wouldn't have to watch me do that. So we're gonna do pancake style tonight. And what that is, is it's gonna be a ruffle, but then we're gonna curl it under so that it makes it really thin to go between your storm door and your front door. I don't know if you can see me, I think you can. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do like pincher fingers and I'm gonna start in the center of the mesh and I'm gonna have it out vertical. These are cut at 20 inches. And I'm just going to pinch and I'm gonna walk up with my fingers all the way 
and try to stay in the center. Not always easy, but try to, and keep it really, really, really tight because that'll give you the most curl on the sides. So you want your cent center really, really tight. And we're gonna start on the outside and work our way all the way around. So we're gonna stick this down inside. And I like to work down towards the bottom of the pipe cleaners and I'll pull it really tight and I'll cross it over twice. And I don't wanna cross it more than that because we're gonna add our ribbons to it and then it'll be too many layers and it can topple forward. That's not the look we want. So what we're gonna do with these little bow ties that we made is we're gonna cross them over on the top and kind of roll it under and do the same thing on the bottom. And it makes it like a little medallion or like a little flower. And curl it under. And believe it or not, that makes the difference to make it super thin. And we're gonna continue that all the way around. We should probably mention too that this will be a class. So anybody, oh, this will be a class, yes. Anybody who was thinking about wanting to do this as a class uh, don't have to buy the kit. Correct. If you cannot come for a class, the kit will be available and then they can well said. follow along with the recorded video. Yeah. Of and if you videos. can't join us, then we have the kit, which is already available right now in in our webpage, it's uh, crazyandcrafty.com. And it's loaded for those who are watching and are not in Michigan. And we have a brick and mortar shop in Commerce Township. And we do wreath classes and home decor workshops, door hangers and things. Um, we're gonna be doing garlands and door swags and everything so you can come and join us in person class you get one-on-one -on -one training with us and we'll hear that answer your questions and if you can't join us in an in-person class oh you get to bring your wine too by the way so it's brief classes and home decor workshops with wine yeah, don't forget, can't forget the, wine. the Can't forget the wine. Don't forget the wine. Some people need the wine a little more than the others. Sometimes. Always helps. And if you are unable to join us in class, you can get the kit at crazyandcrafty.com. You can drink your wine at home. And drink your wine at home, yes. Should I bring this out? I don't know if you can see it or not. Right, the closer your Zoom, um, Make sure they can just see it. Bring it down. Maybe let me know if you can see it or not. Yeah, you're good. Okay. So again, just bring these over. Maybe center the screen over your hand though. So slide it so it's the center of the display. Is it where your hand is? I'm really not looking at the screen like you are, so. Just a little bit more. I moved it up so now your hands are in the middle of the box. Yeah, you can't see that, right? No, I'm moving it. Yeah, that's what I was, I was talking about those. All right, there you go. Bring it back down. So we just continue this all the way around, and this is a really nice feature for anybody who, like in Michigan, a lot of people have storm doors, and they want to have something between them, and this doesn't take up a lot of space. So a lot of people want a thin wreath or something that's gonna fit between, so it's called pancake style. How is everybody doing tonight? I think Lisa's working. Uh, I don't think she's working, but not yet, I don't think. I think it's too early, but Lisa can answer that better than I can. I can ask Lisa if she's working right now. What's everybody up to tonight on this Friday night for Labor Day weekend? Anybody have any plans? 
feel free to chat with me and Gary. We're here. Let's have fun. Let's talk. Let's chat. Who's doing what? Anything fun? Yeah, Arts Beats and Eats this weekend. Oh yeah, Arts Beats and Eats is going on this weekend. Lots of concerts going. All the night concerts over there in Royal Oak, Michigan. There's like four or five stages, right? Yeah, there's a lot of them. There's any genre of music that you could possibly listen to. They have a stage for that. So if you're just joining, we're making pancake style wreath. It's a ruffle method. These are cut at 20 inches. And we just ruffle it up and then I curl under the edges and it makes it nice and flat to go between your door. Lisa says the gray mesh looks like spider webs. Awesome. Very Halloween-y. That's what we're after, right? It's really cool. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the sparkle? Oh. It's got gray with the silver foil and then our sign has the silver writing and there's silver trim around the trees and the tombstones so I thought it'd be cool to pick up that sparkle with the mesh What are you up to tonight, Cheryl? Is that the right lighting color? No, I think so. Mm -hmm. Is it the bright one? It is, yeah. It looks kind of pinkish on my side. All right, so once we get that one done, now we can go and do our tails, our ribbon tails. And these are cut at 12 inches. And then I dovetailed each end, which means I put the two metal sides together. I cut at the folded part and I cut up towards the ceiling, I cut towards the metal. If you turn it this way and you cut metal first, you will get a point. And we don't want a point. So in honor of our sign, I think I will put the tombstone on top. I like to fold these over and find our center. Make it a little bit of a crease there, open it up, and then we find our center. We're just gonna walk it up and then pinch it down towards myself. Cross it over, I work real tight down at the bottom here, cross it over tight, and then give it a couple twists. Get my clippers. And then I'm going to clip it off, give it a little, about an inch or so, a little nub, and I'm going to tuck it under my tails. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it a good separation there. And I like to have it so that it rotates the pattern. I'll have the tombstone and then the bats and the tombstones and then the bats. And I'll continue that all the way around. Let me move these away. How is everybody? Where's everybody from? Let me know where you're watching from. Do you have any fun plans for the weekend? Any wreath makers out there? Anybody plan on making any wreaths or anything else crafty? Our kit that we're doing tonight is the Halloween Graveyard Mesh Wreath and it is available at crazyandcrafty.com if you are not in Michigan. 
to come to a class with us, then you can always get it as a kit. What do you think about me popping the camera up and taking a tour around the room while you do some tales? That's fine with me. You want to show everybody our our room? I can give it a try. All try right. to make everybody sick while I'm touching the camera here. We have a bag over there on the mm -hmm. table. Okay, here's the tricky part. Let me see if I can do this. Good luck. While I am just doing the tails all the way around, Gary is going to take the camera off the stand and give you a little tour. I can't see, so you it's gotta tell just, me. All you can see is the bottom part of the dog leaf. All right, so zoom it out. So zoom it all the way out. Zoom it all the way out. All right, and now you're, you've got a lot of wall. Nope, wrong one. Down. There you go, that's okay. centered. Okay, am I close enough to something like? You are straight up to the outside of the wreath. Okay. So here's a wreath Don just finished. That is a class and a kit as well. Yeah. And then we've got the coffee lovers coming up. Yeah. On the 22nd. Starting to throw some fall decorations out here. So you won't be able to hear you very well over there. Just kind of walking around, throwing some Halloween decor out, changed over our summery flowers to some more fall Halloween flowers. We have yet to decorate the store. We just started pulling some stuff out. That's I love the colors of this this one here. Changed up the entrance a little bit, added some Halloween decor. Like the Harlequin ribbon. I think that really looks great for Halloween. It really does. How am I doing like with everything? Does everything seem like it's coming out okay? It's you can yeah. see it well on a display. A little delay. The date I think is September first on those Made some new shirts, black with a yellow gold. I just got lost connection with Vivo. Maybe I'm too far away from you. I'm still probably live on here. I think you are. Yeah. I'm going to try to reconnect. Um, yeah, it shows the shirts and it's showing Good. me. Good. Yeah. And so, our little setup. And our coming soon wall. This has already been um, listed for a class. This was a this is a small class. We have um, ten seats uh, started off. I think four are gone. We have six seats left for this guy. You can. Uh, we customize it with your initial. That's a, a T for Turner. That's ours going on our home when we're done. But you get to put on your letter. So for when it goes to your front door or if it's a gift to somebody, you just let us know when you make your purchase. You want to have a specific letter and we will have that letter ready for you. This week will be on the wall tonight. Coming soon. It's not listed as a class yet just as a kit. Sunflower wreath. Oh, this one was, this one's coming up? That one, yes. Yeah. As is this one, green and orange sunflower wreath. Blue and yellow wreath, sunflower wreath is coming up as well. I still think this is one of my favorites. A little bit of fishing wreath. Back in. For us. It's not disconnected. 
Let's see how your, uh, your display is showing it. So we're still live. Might have got too far away from you. All right, I'm gonna try to dock you without shaking it too much. I have no control now over this. I don't know what's going on. That wasn't a bad idea. Just... Unable to connect, it says. Okay. So the Benevo is not responding. Okay. Let me try to connect again. Yeah, I'm waiting to do the bumpkin from this. Uh... It's going to be so much fun. Halloween is such a fun time to decorate. So anytime we get to do any kind of Halloween decorating, we are all in. All right. So we have, there's still nothing I can do. So I'm not sure. Is it staying live on here? I oh, don't yeah. Know. Yep. Okay. See, this is um, a live feed from Facebook. Okay. This is controlling the camera, and this is what you're, everybody else is seeing. That's what okay. I'm seeing as well. Okay. So they get the whole picture the right whole now. Whole picture. All right. So here's our first layer. It's a little back behind them. So I'm going to see if I can get it to where you can see or not. I can't tell. Maybe that's better. I'm not sure. Well, anyways. I'll keep going so we can see if we can reconnect the Amiibo. It's still not connected. Okay. So let's cancel that app out. All right. I'm just going to continue going here. Gary's going to work on connecting the Amiibo again. So sorry if it's so far away. I'm going to make a ruffle up the center. I'm just taking my first finger and my thumb and I'm pinching them together and I'm walking it up with my fingers and I'm keeping it small pieces, pinching up little pieces at a time so it's nice and tight. We want it nice and tight. And we're gonna get this over here and we're gonna start our second layer now. And we're just gonna go on the inside six now. Press it over really tight. I work down low on my pipe cleaner, cross it twice, and I'm going to make it a pancake style. Go over, and then pull this over, and you fold it under, and it makes it super thin to fit between your storm door and your regular door if you need it. Get the next piece. Okay, so there you go. Thank you. If that ever happens, it shouldn't, because I don't typically walk around. With right. It. If that ever does happen, kill the app. And then start, start again. again. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. All right, Lisa, have a great night. one to the bottom of the, the roll. So, so I'm walking it up, trying to stay in the middle, trying to keep my ruffle, my little pinches really, really small. And we're going into the inside layer now of our pipe cleaners. Cross it over tight, twist, twist. We just twist it twice because we have more things that we want to put inside there. Our ribbon tails need to go inside. And so because of that, we don't want too much 
twisting in between layers. This one doesn't want to hold down for me. I'm going to put it underneath. This was the very, very bottom piece of the roll, which has a little fold in it. So it wants to give me a little bit of an issue right now. And it should be fine. So our ribbon is on there. All right. Three down, three to go. How are you doing, Denise? If you're still watching, you guys have any plans this weekend? My screen is kind of like frozen. It's not showing any comments. So if anybody's come in or anything else, just say hello. Listen, it's always Lisa. Okay. We have six pipe cleaners on the outside, and we have six on the inside. We already completed our outside six, and now we are going to work on our inside six. Let's see if this side will be better. There we go. We're folding or taking our ruffle, and instead of leaving it to be a ruffle, we are taking and we're folding over one over the other. And we're making a little flower medallion so that it stays nice and compact between the storm doors if you need that. Some customers need that if you're a wreath maker and if you want it for yourself, you need that style. A lot of people need that. Michigan, we have harsh winters. We have a lot of people with storm doors. So I'm just doing the ruffle style. Turning it into a pancake to make it nice and thin like a pancake. This is turning out pretty cute. I can't wait. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not next door. We are next door to a bakery and they must be doing some baking tonight. You can hear them putting things in and out of the oven. I don't know if you can hear that or not. A little bit of banging. We are in the middle of doing a Halloween wreath tonight. We got a pancake style great graveyard. We have completed the outside six and we are coming up to the second part of our inside six. We made it a ruffle. We have 20 inch mesh and 12 inch tails. And we just ruffled it up and then we are just rolling under the edges. Just take them and give them a little curl under and it makes it a flatter style for your customer if you need it or if you need it yourself and it's for you. This kit is available right now at crazyandcrafty.com. If you are not in Michigan and cannot come and join a wreath class or home decor workshop class with us in person with wine. And you can always go to crazyandcrafty.com, grab one of the wreath kits. And then you can always replay this back. It's alive right now, but it will be on YouTube. So you could like and subscribe. And then every time I go live and we list the videos, you will be first to know. We're on Instagram, it's crazy underscore N 
underscore crafty, both with K's. You follow us there, and every time we list a wreath kit or a wreath itself for class, you will be the first to know. You will get notified. We have the Facebook page too that you're on right now that you see. Turning out so great. I love these colors are popping on here. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. So I just cut off a little, twisted a couple times and did a little nub there on the end. A recap on this is 12 inch tails on both of these. Hi, Pat. How are you tonight? I feel like it's been so long. Life gets crazy busy. And I feel like it's been ever since I went live. So find the center, I walk up around the edges. I feel like I'm missing. I did. Let's see. Oops. And that's mine. I get to talking, and did I put two in one on my back? It doesn't seem like it's that thick, though. I don't think so. Is it two there? No, it's not. So somehow I'm missing one. I just took it out and I didn't need to. So I'm going to try it again. Put this back. Somehow I'm missing one and I was trying to see if I doubled up or not. Hmm. It doesn't look like I have two in any spots, so I probably just didn't cut enough. We have more. Pat says, I really like the silver mesh. And yeah. she said, good. It's been a couple of weeks. It has been a couple of weeks. It's super sparkling. I don't know if you guys can see. It is fantastic because it goes with our sign. I can show you the sign too, Pat. Babe, you want to hold up the sign so Pat can see it? open these up here. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? I'm so excited for this. Oh, great. I'm so excited. All right. So this one here, I don't know. I need more. No worries. No worries. saw the gray and the silver and I said, oh my goodness, it's going to match our tombstone ribbon. So there we go. Take some down. All right, where was I? Back and hold it towards. They are 12 inch. And the mesh is cut at 20, and we're doing the ruffle method. And then we're making it a pancake style. So once it's already in the spot of your pipe cleaner, and you've set it down inside, we are curling under the edges to make little like rosettes, little medallion type looking. And that makes it nice and thin between your storm doors if you need it or if your customer needs it. Hold it over, find the center. 
I'm going to pinch it up the center, make it nice and tight, pull it towards me. And then I put it in towards me. I work really low down on the pipe cleaners. I give them a couple twists here because I'm just going to cut it off. Give it a little nub. And we just fold up the ribbon and just kind of tuck it under so we don't see it. And then I spread open the tails. And I like to keep the pattern going. So we've got bat, tombstone, bat, tombstone, bat, tombstone, bat, tombstone, all the way around. Yeah, I think that's better. Yep, bat, tombstone, bat, tombstone. Okay, that's good. This is really, really nice ribbon. I don't know if you can see it too. I'll hold it up closer to on the end. But there's some purple writing on these tombstones. It says R.I.P. and another one says Rest in Peace. Uh, one says I'll be back. And, it, and there's little um, skulls and they're all purple glitter. So I'll hold that up, see if I can. I don't know if you guys can see the sparkles and the glitter in there and the purple. Very, very nice ribbon, nice and thick, nice to work with. I'm folding it over, these are 12 inch tails. I dovetailed the ends already, pinching it up, walking it down. You know, crazyandcrafty.com to get the kit if you don't live in Michigan. If you do live in Michigan, we have a brick and mortar shop. You can come and do live in-person classes with us. Bring your wine, bring your friends, have a crazy great time. We play music, we laugh, we have a great time. It's so much fun. If you're unable to join us in person with your wine, then you can grab a kit at crazyandcrafty.com. Some listed right now tonight. This is not listed as a class yet. We will list it uh, probably tomorrow as a class. Oh yeah. I see Katie Cunningham commented. It's looking awesome. Oh, thank you, Katie. What are you up to this weekend, Katie? Anything fun? Any plans? Do you have any plans, Pat? Twist, twist, twist. Cut off the knob, tucking it under. Rotate these actually. There we go. Try to keep the pattern rotating around. So, spread the orange one up first. There we go. I hope this camera is doing this silver gray mesh justice because it is, it is popping. fantastic. It really is popping. All right, fold it over, get my center. Pat's doing a yard sale tomorrow. Oh, wow. Good luck. Those are a lot of work. A lot of work. Hope you have good weather too. I always worry about the weather. Always worrying about the rain. All right. Wow, look at that. These are awesome. Bring that open a little bit so you guys can see. You guys see the glitter and all the sparkles in this mesh and in the ribbon. So pretty. Let's see how the sign is. I'll turn it. Pat says, yes, need to declutter. <laughs> Amen to that. 
Look at that. I think this is fantastic. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. You never know what it's going to be until you get it all together. Give this hug. All right. So I'm going to set this aside. We'll grab our sign. The one I went ahead and did earlier is on the back side. I filled off my stickers and I used cable timeouts. I'll show you guys. So you peel off your sticker, sticker backing, put a little bit of super glue in the center and stick it down. And then take your glue gun and make a bead of glue all the way around it. And then we let that we set it aside and let it cool. Let it. And then we will take a pipe cleaner and stick it through there. Pat says uh, And then storm. we twist, twist, twist. Go ahead. Pat says a storm passed through the other week. Looks cooler but sunny. Oh, I am glad to hear that. Picked a good weekend, it sounds like. Let it stick through and then I just twist this tight at the bottom and then I just wrap the extra as if it's like a vine growing up the edge because basically you're just getting rid of that tail, that extra. Pull it over tight, twist the bottom and then I just kind of twist my way up. All right, so let's find a good place for our sign here. I see. I will forever be touching ribbons to get it just so. All right, I think, I think that looks pretty good here. I'll probably put Here. Let's see. Pat says, I like this one a lot. So different from the orange and black and purple you see everywhere. Aw, thanks, Pat. We were super excited when we were putting our ribbons together, trying to decide on patterns and things, and we thought, oh, this would be fantastic together. Decide. I think we want it just a little bit up and then maybe put a bow over here maybe this time. And put a bow at the bottom. Well, I want to cover my words though. So maybe we'll just do it at the top. So I don't want to cover up the happy Halloween. It's too cute, right? Right. We don't want to cover up those words. We, we did it. Good job matching our silvers. <laughs> so what I do is I like to start at one corner once I decide where I'm going to put my sign. I like to try to cover up these little nubs too if I can. So I know my bow will be up here and I'll cover that one. So if I can line this up to where you will cover up those little nubs that are from the pipe cleaners then we're kind of making it so as if they're not there at all and you can't see them so the sign will cover it good i think that's a good place so what i like to do is i'll start at one corner and i like to take and push it all the way through and just go right through the mesh and look for your Feel for your sign. I like to actually turn it off the table. It's the easiest. Take my other hand and go underneath and find the pipe cleaner and pull it. Pull it down and then I'll just wrap it around the wire form. I think that's semi like centered to me. So then I'll just pull it taut and I'll just wrap it around a couple times around the metal form. You can tuck it or you can 
cut it off, it's up to you. So that looks pretty centered to me for that. All right, so then I'm gonna do the same thing. So I did this top corner, so now I'm gonna do this bottom corner. I like to work in the corners first. So now I have that one. So now I'm gonna do this one. Do the same thing. I'm gonna pull it down and pull it through. Catch it with my other hand on the other side. And then I'm just gonna start wrapping it around. Pull it a little tight so that doesn't want to move around on you. Okay, open and shut your doors. We don't want it to jiggle, so we'll pull it nice and taut. All right, that looks like it's nice and centered. I'll fix the ribbons again as we go. Tuck this one down. So again, this is a kit on crazyandcrafty.com. The class will be listed probably for it tomorrow. We'll pick a, a date for the class. So if you're in Michigan, you can come and join us and see us. And do a live in-person class. And you bring your wine. And have a crazy great time. If you're not in Michigan, then you can do your kit at crazyandcrafty.com. We do have a pretty good time. We have a great time. A lot of laughs. We play music. And I dance. I perform. <laughs> it's true, ladies. It does. I've helped with a couple of wreaths. Oh. Some of them need more than help. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Sometimes people need a little bit more assistance than others, and that's what we're here for. You do a great job helping, babe. Thank you. You do a great job. <laughs> I wish again I was in Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, and you do a sad face. Yeah. We're sad too, Pat. We're sad too. Get on a plane, come see us. <laughs> then who's gonna man that that uh, yard sale? All right, I think I got it nice and secure there. All righty, so I'll fix these up and we will work on our bow and then we're done. All right, and we have these fantastic ribbons here. I'm excited. We've got polka dots to pick up with the polka dot from in the bat. And then we've got solid black because Halloween. And then we've got a white and black polka dot, which picks up with the white tombstone ribbon. So I'm excited with that. All right, I'm gonna hold that up so you guys can see. And we're gonna put our bow right here. Hold that up for you. You can see what we've got so far. Bring it out for you. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Yes? No? Oh, yeah. That's great. <laughs> I can't tell if it's crooked or not. Oh, there it is. That's why. <laughs> there we go. There's a little bit of a glare. I'm trying not to show that. All right. So we put that aside there. Get our bow maker out here. All right. Scissors. All right. So we're going to start with our polka dot. with the big two and a half, the black. All right. And this one we're gonna do an eight inch tail and six inch loop. Mm. Pat, 
pets as I have my daughter and my grandson. Oh, that's going to be fun. Your daughter and your grandson are with you right now? That's fantastic. So your, your daughter is probably going to be uh, helping with that sale then, it seems. It's always nice to have another hand at those garage sales. I'm going to call it yards. She called it yard sale, but I wonder if it's the same thing. Garage. Some say yard sale, some say garage sale. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it all depends on where you're at. Some actually put them on the lawn. That's right. They don't even have a garage to put them in. In some states, yeah. put them in the garage and the lawn. <laughs> oh, we're flipping it on our back here, turning it over. We're gonna do another six inches. I like to pull it out here. Put my pinky. There's a stopper there. it down, flip it on its back. I think I'm going to do three, three loops here like that. Pat says looking fabulous. Aw, thanks Pat. We always give you a little extra too in case there's a different style bow that you like to do if you want longer tails or not. We give you a little extra in your kit just in case if you choose to do a different style bow that you Modern thing. This is so, so great. This ribbon. This is looking fantastic, babe. So now we're going to go with our black one. So don't ever worry if your tail one is longer than the other because we're just, if this one is longer than this one, we're just going to cut it off. And it's at the top of our wreath, so we don't want long tails anyway. All right. So believe it or not, this does have a back to it. There's a front side and there's a back side. So I'm gonna do the eight inch again. I'm gonna give it a twist. You wanna twist so that the bad side is up, the non-pretty side. I'm gonna turn it to this side because I started on my left, so now I'm gonna start on my right. Pull that down. So now we've got the ugly side up, which it's hard to tell on this one, but it really does have a bad side. And I'm just going to do another six inch loop again. And I'm going to go just a slight bit smaller, but not a lot. It's probably like five and three quarters. I'm going to give it a twist, flip it on its back, and I'm going to do again another just shy of the six inch bow five and three quarters there and give it another twist and see what I did there. I have now I'm going to have two on this side and one loop here and then I've got two here and one here because I started on the opposite side I started on last time. All right and then because it's the end we just bring it down. So now I have the tails here. And then I'm going to repeat the same one with this black and white polka dot here. And I'm going to start on this side like I did last time. We're going to go slightly smaller, so it'll be probably around five and a quarter to five and a half loops. I'll stick with the eight inch tail. And we can cut it as we go if we want. So this one's going to go slightly smaller than this black one. Flip it on its back. That's about five inches. So we'll do that again on this side. Bring it in, hold it with my pinky there. About five inches. Do it one more time. Make that side match. Bring it out. And on this one, I'm going to make a little twist. Instead of stopping and pulling it down, I'm going to flip it on its back one more time. And I'm going to make about a three inch, yep, about three inch loop. See there, about three inches. So 
for a little nub in the middle and then I'll pull it down. I'll take my pipe cleaner. I like to fold it in half, catch my center so I know where that's at. Try to keep it as equal as I can. Actually for this one, yeah, I think that'll be fine. Sometimes I'll do it to where you have just one strand, but this one I think will be good. Yeah, I'll keep it as two because it's a lot, it's a lot of uh, ribbon here couple layers so I slowly pull it up off here pinch it really tight and then go down through the middle and this where we bent the pipe cleaner is now the top it's important that you know that that's your top of your bow here's the back and these are going to go through the mesh just like we did the sign so I'm going to pinch and pull really tight and then I'm just going to twist my pipe cleaner All right, so we'll bring our wreath back over and then start fluffing just a little bit, just to get a good idea. It's not our final fluff, just to get our idea. I like to hold the tails down and then have one here and two here and then one here. Excuse me, I'm taking a little drink here. Okay. And then we've got two and one and two. And then our little, little nub in the middle there. Look at this, guys. This is so cute. Absolutely love these colors of Halloween. All right, so there's got a little bit of an idea of our bow. So now we're just gonna look and see where we wanna put it. Let's see, and we're not gonna cover up our sign, so we'll cut the tails in a minute. We'll cut them up top. We can turn some of our tails too if we want to the top. Pull that down, that should be pretty good, I think. All right, so we do the same thing we did with the sign. I like to pull it off the table and find, oh, sorry guys. My, my plaque here. I didn't realize I carried it with me with my wreath. I spent all day making that, and you <laughs> dropped it on the floor. I did, I did. You did not spend all day making that, but you did make it. It turned out great. Let's see how this is. Got it nice and centered. Pull it down. I am upside down to it, so I'm thinking that it's good. Yep. And the good thing about it is it's just a movement of a pipe cleaner if you don't like it. I'm just wrapping it around the wire. All right. And let's get some tails cut here. Fluff this guy up. All right, this is so cute, guys. All right, so we're gonna dovetail. And this I'm gonna make the same length first. We'll start there. We'll do that with all of these. It's a good place to start. All right, now we'll just position our tails and then we'll cut them and then we'll be done. it over like a taco. Got wired edges together. I'm going to cut towards the fabric, towards the ceiling. Let's see if this, if I curl it with my fingers, if that is short enough. And it just might be. So that's good. And we'll just 
just kind of stay around this length. And we can tweak it. together, cut towards the fabric. All right, one more here. This one actually might want shorter if I pull it over. I don't want to cover up my sign, it's too cute. I'm gonna go, I think I might want them all this length. Let's see. Cut this one a little shorter too, so we don't hide our cute sign. And that's it guys, we are done. We are just dovetailing. Kat says, yes, but they'll help, I hope. Well, I hope so, too. <laughs> and she says, right, on the lawn, thus yard sale. Okay, so where she's at, it's a yard sale. We had a big discussion on the radio that talked about, where are you from? Do you call it cutting the grass or mowing the lawn? Oh, <laughs> Makes me think of that. It's about 50-50. 50-50? Yeah. I think... It depends. I, I've said both. So it makes me think that uh, it is where you live, huh? All right. And here we go. I think that it is covering it a little bit more than I want. So I'll probably go back and clip those up just a little bit more. I want to show those cute bats. But I won't keep you guys waiting. But there's our... It'll be more of what it'll look like, I think. We'll put those up a little bit more. Cut them up so that we don't hide that. And we're, there's we're curl them to the side. Our finished product. Yep, we can curl them up too. So there it is, guys. Yeah, it says good one tonight, but then they all are. Aw, thank you so much. That's sweet. Very, very sweet. All right, so it was fun hanging out with you guys tonight. Thank you so much for joining. This will be on crazyandcrafty.com as a, um, a class probably tomorrow. If you are not in Michigan, then we will have it available. It's right now actually available at crazyandcrafty.com. Links there. Yep, the link uh, is on the bottom of the page here. Uh, Gary posted the link for you so you can just touch it. And it'll take you right there to purchase this kit. And then you can replay this back. It will be on YouTube. It'll be uploaded tomorrow to YouTube. So then you can, um, when you get your kit, you can do it with me. And we thank you so much for joining. And we will load the class tomorrow. If you're in Michigan, come see us. Bring your wine, your friends. And we have a crazy great time when we make our wreaths here in class. So we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for joining. Have a wonderful and safe holiday weekend. Happy Labor Day to everybody. And we will talk to you soon. It's time to get a little crazy. Have a great night. Bye.